you what's going on y'all it's jay small reviews here back at it again with another video uh as you guys can see i've kind of, kind of taken a break once again a little four day break um just while i mean everything is easy right now easy pat push we all know the situation that's at hand uh, i didn't really feel like doing a blog breaking down what's already out there in the public and we all know i don't i don't really like to cover topics uh, of that nature i like to keep it battle rap um so thought that i'd start a new series today uh the the name of the series that you're gonna see and i'm gonna present now is up for change might change it um but as simple as it is right now hall of fame question mark you know what i'm saying um we don't have a battle rap hall of fame it's something that's always talked about by people and i'm not necessarily constructing one here you know what i'm saying i'm gonna keep little notes uh but what I'm doing here is I'm posing the question, is a battle rap a Hall of Fame? Is a battle rapper a Hall of Famer? We're gonna be doing a career assessment on a battler. Each time that I do this, like I said, could be renamed from Hall of Fame thinking career assessment. Uh, but whatever we want to call it, we are doing a career assessment for battlers. Obviously, in this episode, we're doing Danny Myers to start out. Uh, just feel like Danny has an interesting career with some strong points, with some weak points, a lot of stylistic changes somewhere in his career. And we're gonna go over all that. We're gonna take some time to go over stylistically how Danny has rapped. <coughs> what he's excelled at over the years and and not excelled at just in terms of style then review the body of work a little bit of impact on top of some of the best performances he's had some of the worst where it goes on both sides in terms of body of work and then where we do, where we look at him all time and the titles that danny holds in this culture so as you guys can see hopefully uh, as the as we get through the episode you'll get a better idea of how i'm dividing this up and how we're assessing it really just looking over a guy's career to really age where is he all time does he rank with the greats do we consider him one of those and all in all do we consider him a battle rap hall of famer so without further ado let's get into the career assessment of danny myers so in terms of Danny stylistically, I think Danny's always been considered a puncher for the most part at the base of his style. Going back to 2013 PG class, the uh, PG class he, he graduated from, obviously, and really the only talent from that PG class, that specific PG class that went on to really be a great battle rapper. Um, so uh, starting from there puncher that's all i'm not gonna say it's the only thing danny that, that really was the only thing danny was known for though early on you look at battles like danny myers versus rum Diddy the first time around um danny myers versus chilla jones just anything you look at i think the front half of danny's career for the most part you know it's only a couple battles obviously we're gonna have a, a segment where you go to his body of work but you see for the first many years when he's kind of that man against the machine uh before there was a war you know saying? way before there was the easy there was danny uh just just consider that guy off URL that needed his respect. You know what I'm saying? Guy, there was a point I call him like the face of the underground where people were like the champion Danny in these small leagues and how he deserves more opportunities. And he punched throughout all that. The one stylistic change I'd really say besides punch and extreme explosive aggression, I wouldn't necessarily say performance because it also took a while for Danny to start figuring it out on a big stage, but has always had kind of aggressive, the, rah, you know, the screaming on top of punching. So very just explosive, straight up style. I think the last few years he wanted to be respected more as a pen. Got to speak to Danny a couple times. Um, always humble, always down to just talk battle rap. Loves the game. Uh, as as a man, really one of my favorite battle rappers to be able to to discuss with it his perspective on the sport um, because of his love for it. But he has kind of mentioned, you know, he wanted. Uh, to be respected, I think, more as a pen and kind of take that pen heavier style. Over the last few years, there's no question that multis have skyrocketed in his style. So a guy who's really just been a pure puncher, figured it out more in the performance level as well. No question his performance took a bump. But now I'd say he's a pure puncher with a lot of just straight pen qualities. Now, do I think he's better when he's just straight punching and being aggressive? Yes, you look at almost any of the best Danny Myers battles of all time, and it's almost strictly punching. He also has the ability to do some crazy concept rounds, I think third versus drugs, so, you know, I am drugs versus B-Dot, um, <clears throat> kind of the concept of sending the sending the kid to the store with the money. Uh, he Like, there's a couple with the third versus Av, although it didn't work out that great, truth be told, but... He has this ability to do some concepts that are that are outside of the box like that, and some you know some work out and some don't. Uh, I like his second versus rock. Love the whole rock scheme, like like granite top, smooth rock, granite Aboriginal two rock. You know what I'm saying? Like doing all those different. Uh, <clears throat> rocks at a multi-syllabic pace i think it just goes to show as a pen danny has stepped up and then the last part of his game that i think he's added to base puncher almost his whole career adds these pen elements where you see him more uh on that on that bar god side leaning into that 
And then finally, the rebuttals, which I think Danny's a good rebuttaler. Do I think he's an all-time rebuttaler? No, he doesn't. I don't think he hits at a high enough clip. A lot of really good rebuttals, and it's extremely impressive. He also has a lot of airball rebuttals. Probably the most airball rebuttals out of any consistent rebuttaler. Um, he'll hit one, miss one right after, almost every round. Uh, I will say, it, obviously, is recently the Gnome Impact rebuttal is the, the worst one to speak on. But uh, the, the late text rebuttals versus Ace, um, believe he had the two different rebuttals that were Haymakers versus Tayrock. Clearly, it's a part of his game, and it just goes to show as time has went on, Danny has really made that game well-rounded. Do I think he's best as a base puncher? Yes, I always have kind of asked, you know, Danny, go back to that straight base punching style. But uh, when someone adds something to their game, you can't be too mad at that. And a punch that's added performance, uh, emphasized his pen, the multis, the scheming, and added rebuttaling to that factor with concepts. You see a guy that has an all-around attack format and really a, a well-rounded battle rapper. Secondly, we can go into his body of work, and I think Danny has an extremely good body of uh, body of work with great peaks i think is really the thing that i i wouldn't say necessarily doesn't get enough credit um danny overall is not the most impactful battle rapper out of uh, 114 battles on youtube he's garnered about 16 million 16.8 million views on 150,000 average view basis and we all know that danny is known for battling any and everywhere uh you could debate that he's he's got really a, a hall of fame level body of work right which we're going to talk more in detail into in the in the third part of this but he has that like high level body of work on three different leagues url rb kotd um and then you go down his work on black ice uh He's got a classic with beat on the league called LA Battlegrounds. I mean, he's got so much work everywhere. Uh, and a lot of obviously lower tier guys and top tier guys, really a lot of everyone. So his overall brand is obviously broader now. I think Danny is uh, definitely oversaturated, but I think that's kind of part of the Danny Myers thing is he's one of the few guys who really can be just that outwardly oversaturated, but that's kind of part of his brand and what he does is just battle that much. He's one of the few guys that I think can do it and is welcomed when he does do it. Uh, and if you look at some of his more important his highest view battle on youtube is him versus disaster on king of the dot really really good battle classic battle over there uh and tay rock you know what i'm saying super fight i think that's four uh i or possibly five but i had him at six did i lie i think it's super fight six <laughs> but tay rock uh historic first round right one of the best things in his catalog His battle versus K Shine in the original volume, uh, amazing. His classic versus Pat Stay, one of the best battles on RBE's channel. Nigga, you five seven versus this tall ass. Grab something, Matt dumping more than Tennessee. Me volunteer to hit Pat Summit. It's three a.m. and this is all day. This is. All Classic versus Beat Out, as we've spoken of. Also having good battles with the likes of uh, Charlie Clips. Um, two great battles with Rum Nitty. You could go on and on through Danny's catalog. I think throughout all of those like top accomplishments, uh, A Verb has to come to mind as well. The Chilla Jones battle, I think I mentioned earlier, but another great RBE battle. Um, they even battle Hollow to Don. So this man has an extremely full resume. I think when you really look at it, there's not much for him to plug in outside of he's always going to battle new cats. There's always going to be those options for Danny, uh, newer talent coming up or unknown talent on uh, smaller leagues. A couple top tiers in there like T-Top that he isn't battling and whatnot. But realistically, all he's missing is pretty much Mook and Lux, that top part. He's not going to be battling Cal and Hitman. Those type of guys. There's just really no need for those two battles. Um, so eventually, I think he's going to get Mook and Lux. I think eventually, before it's all said and done, he'll get one of them. Uh, we'll see, though. It's obviously, I don't know how many people are dying to see Danny versus one of those god tiers that they pop out. But it is one of the last few matchups he had that really could move the needle when it comes to his body of work. Really in incredible. I mean, a really full resume. Missing a few guys. Sue Surf, Hitman, but still has a uh, Hall of Fame-worthy resume. The one thing I will say about Danny, uh, while he has the great wins, like like K-Shine, like Tay Rock, uh, like a couple classics that I named with, with guys like Pat and B-Dot, He's also prone to a lot of very random losses. He lost to Steams. He's a loss to Stewie Newton. He's a loss to Franchise. It's just very, very random. There was a point up in Danny's career until about 2016, I'd say that. I'm not going to say he's undefeated, but his winning streak was unreal. And I still think Danny has that same passion and kind of work ethic, but the win rate just doesn't come... Uh, 
uh, it doesn't uh, produce the same results. A little bit more choking as the years went on. I think that's a big part of it is Danny used to not choke at all. Now, clearly, I mean, Danny's choked more than enough times. I'm not going to say to say it's a habit, but he's choked more than enough times. He's not exactly the most non-choking battle rapper ever. And come the, some of that comes to the territory, the worth eth work ethic, right? But when you're great, there's really no need. He didn't even choke versus Dean. He just lost. Um... And a couple other smaller league battles that he has. So overall, in the green, winning-wise in his career, but some random losses kind of stunt where you might rank him all time. And that leaves us with the, the final assessment portion here. Uh, and first of all, I want to talk about kind of like the crowns that Danny holds in this culture, the things that are synonymous with him. Um, that I think a lot of people, you know, I've talked a little bit about it through the video already, but first of all, when it comes to work ethic, there's no one that just had quite, just does as much work as Danny Myers. It feels like on a year to year basis, multiple 20 battle years, which is absolutely ridiculous. Um, you look at DNA, uh, is someone else that probably has a body of work that rivals that. Obviously, I think DNA is one of the greatest battle rappers, one of the top 10 probably greatest battle rappers of all time. Um, so you got to, when you start entering like rare air, I think Jerry Dennis in that question too for what you want to count. But when it comes to a straight work ethic and you combine the fact that he has like this crazy resume uh, versus other all-time greats, like he has a resume that can compete and really give him a case to his peers, like the DNAs and the, and the so on and so forth great rebuttaler obviously at this point uh being the bar god himself not only is he considered himself one of the best punchers of all time to many a top five puncher if not on the outside of that but at this point he's become one of the great one of the better rebuttalers in the world right now all time level no like i said i think that there's a little bit too much hit and miss in there compared to some guys like like a ward like a dna like a trez that are pretty consistently landing at a high clip uh but there's no question right now if i had to name you five of the best freestylers in the world i think danny has to to be in that conversation just for 2023 uh multiple cody finishes in the top 10 i have the exact stats somewhere around here but i believe he has two two top 10 finishes possibly three top 10 finishes uh with maybe four to five appearances overall like i said gonna get that again probably should look that up beforehand uh, next time we will for the other episodes but uh has success in that Cody, even though he's probably never has, never will capture a Cody. I think the window of that is closed due to some of those chokes we talked about in the second segment with him having random losses to a Stewie Newton, right? To a franchise, lost a real sick and pretty dramatic fashion as well. Um, so, you know, th take those battles for what you will. It doesn't define your career, but compared to your peers who also have a lot of those same peaks but probably not those losses as the as the overdog, um, as the favorite. Overdog really isn't the term. As the favorite going into the battle, uh, it has to be counted a little bit. Um, and for all those things, I think that, that that just shows that Danny has, as a puncher, really cemented himself. <clears throat> as a battler overall, what he means to this culture is that wholesome figure that can battle anywhere. And as an all-time talent, uh, these are very general, you know what I'm saying? You guys will let me know how you feel about this segment as time goes on. But I feel like Danny is probably a top at least 25 to 30 battle rapper of all time now there's some people that might argue he's up in that kind of 15 section bar god that really value the work you know what i'm saying and the, just the constant the, the trough some material um and just how much he's put into the game i think that uh what he's lacking in impact and, and for those of you that are watching see how i talk about talents all time impact isn't my end all be all you have to have a certain amount to kind of qualify for some of those higher ranks i think danny on the impact side definitely could use a little bit more like he's not not impactful right but he's not like the others and when it comes to just pure tape pure like resume those losses do hold him back a little bit with a couple of unfavorable results in the big stage early like the dna battle it's just not a very good battle uh and things like that when danny was uh first on url first couple top tiers that might have chipped him um but overall you know what i'm saying great resume as we we named earlier tons of signature wins and signature classic battles to go with that and i feel like he just hit where he is as a puncher kind of what he's already considered all time at that level and the all-around game he's developed i think he has all the things to debate if i don't know if you can name 30 battle rappers you could be you could have him higher if you like danny Moore, but i don't think for sure that you can name 30 battle rappers better than danny myers and that is my full career assessment here for Danny. And as for the question that this kind of series poses, do I consider Danny Myers a Hall of Famer? Absolutely. I think that that's kind of obvious that even though you don't like Danny, you would say that he would make a Hall of Fame in battle rap. Would he be first ballot? Would he be a for sure lock like Tom Brady or Peyton Manning's going to be the NFL? Did that see? There's now there's there's the fun debate in that. But I think just making the Hall of Fame, you know, if he was to make it second or third ballot, probably second. Uh, I think Danny for sure is a Hall of Famer in this game. There's not much to talk about.
about, but I kind of want to dis discuss more in depth <clears throat> how I feel about how he actually battles as a talent, the body of work that he's been able to give us, and then in turn around, um, where I actually think he ranks amongst his peers. Like I said, top 30 battle rapper of all time, my opinion. Maybe it'd be fun for you guys to discuss amongst yourself. Write some battlers down and see if they're ahead of Danny. Uh, if I'm crazy, if I'm not. Some people are going to think I'm crazy for not having him higher. Some people really don't like Danny. think I'm probably crazy not for having him 10 or 20 spots below. Uh, but I want to just give that gauge of at least, I think at least he's a top 30 battle rapper, probably caps before he enters the top 20, I don't, you know what I'm saying, that, that then you have to, there's so many different talents to discuss by then, it's kind of hard to exactly pinpoint, but I definitely know he, he's on that upper half of echelon, it's just too many people that have this respect for him, too many different tiers and great, probably one of the top 10 best resumes of all time, when you just look at absolutely everyone that he's battled, um, missing some top guys, you know what I'm saying, but it, it, it's just so much work when you have 149 battles to speak on, uh, but shout out to the bar god overall he's given us a great career to talk about i know that right now his name not, might not be in the best of ways with what happened with the trenches card and gnome impact and listen it, there's probably some things backing out last second people were upset about danny about him. that i'm glad that we're on the other side of it though because acting like danny myers like gotta go or he's not a hall of fame talent it's fucking stupid <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's not i'm not even the biggest danny fan in the world but what he's given us in the game i, I just don't see the way that people are turning around and disrespecting people give you 15 years of having nothing but your back mess up a little bit here have a little bit of a discrepancy all of a sudden people want to tear that down so shout out to the legend you know what i'm saying for sure a certified hall of famer like comment subscribe let me know what you guys think about danny myers in terms of all-time talent i know a lot of us have respect for him no matter what but do you think he's a you no know, top 50 bt did their list right do you think he's for sure a top 50 talent are you a big danny myers fan that thinks he's one of the best best ever let me know some of your takes about danny on an all-time scale in the comments and let me know how you feel about this series the willing to do a bunch of different talents uh probably go more in detail and be a little bit more organized and upgrade it as time goes on but still want to give that format giving a body of work answering where i think i gauge them all time and you know who they are as a battler stylistically and what they've done for this culture but overall it's been jay small reviews again y'all again y'all like i said like comment subscribe let me know how you feel about danny on an all-time scale and if you believe he's a hall of famer i'm gonna catch you on the next one man peace